Royal Australian Air Force, RAF, to acquire a new advanced jet trainer, replacing BAE Systems Hawk 127. The Royal Australian Air Force, RAF, plans to acquire a new advanced jet trainer, with major defense contractors promoting potential candidates at the Avalon Airshow 2023. According to a defense official, the decision about a new trainer will be made in 2026, with a contract to be signed in 2027. Satimo Caputo, a former pilot in the Italian Air Force, discusses the suitability of the M346 for Australia's trainer requirement. The RAAF will acquire almost 40 aircraft to train pilots. A light combat capability will be required, and the aircraft will need an electro-optical and infrared sensor, data links, electronic warfare, radar, and virtual reality training capability. These capabilities are required because the type will be called upon to perform the adversary's red air mission. Italian Leonardo Company and Israeli Elbit Systems established a high-tech training capability for Hellenic Air Force. Elbit Systems provided Hellenic Air Force with electronics, data links, communications, and virtual reality software. Leonardo promoted its M346-based advanced training system in a presentation at the show. Carmine Russo, head of sales, engineering and IFTS, International Flight Training School, Marketing, says the M346 is ideally suited to training pilots destined for fifth-generation aircraft such as the Lockheed Martin F-35, a type operated by the RAAF. He notes that six countries use the M346 and the IFTS. The company has also sold M346S to Azerbaijan Air Force as light fighters. Boeing promoted its developmental T-7 Red Hawk, which will replace the Northrop T-38 as the jet trainer for the U.S. Air Force. The T-7 would fit right into the pilot training and aircraft sustainment our team currently provides for the Australian Defence Force, says Scott Carpendale, Vice President and Managing Director of Boeing Defence Australia. Because the U.S. and Australia have a high degree of interoperability due to flying similar aircraft types, an Australian T-7 Red Hawk could lead to new joint training scenarios between the two countries. Boeing also highlighted the T-7's open architecture and cockpit, which it says will facilitate upgrades for decades to come. T-7A Red Hawk can be configured to use an American-made sensor suite, AESA radar and data links for advanced training capability, plus operate as a tactical aircraft. Sirium Fleet's data indicates that the RAAF operates 33 BAE Systems Hawk 127s in the training role. In February 2022, Canberra said it would upgrade the Hawk fleet with updated engines and other improvements. The $1.5 billion, 10-year contract will extend the life of BAE Systems Hawk 127 until 2032. Thanks for watching. Comment below and let us know which aircraft the Royal Australian Air Force should procure for the future training platform. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.